ABC News has now learned new exclusive information about special counsel Jack Smith's investigation into classified documents taken by former President Trump. Our investigative unit learning that Trump allegedly wrote to-do lists for his assistant on the back of note cards that were marked classified. According, again, this is according to sources that telling this to ABC News. Now, this is just the latest in this ongoing documents case against the former president. You'll recall back in June, Trump pled not guilty to 37 criminal counts related to his handling of classified materials, ranging from U.S. nuclear secrets to the nation's defense capabilities. So let's get the latest now from our chief Washington correspondent, Jonathan Carl. Uh, so, John, thank you so much for joining he us here. And what exactly are your sources telling Telling you about this. Kana, this is a major development uh, learned here exclusively by ABC News in that classified documents case. What we have learned is that Trump's personal secretary, Molly Michael, and you have to understand Molly Michael is somebody who worked extraordinarily close with Donald Trump both while he was president. She had a desk right outside the Oval Office and after he left the White House in Mar-a-Lago and at his uh, club up in Bedminster, New Jersey. What we have learned is that she has told investigators uh, that Trump on multiple occasions wrote her notes. She described them as, thing, as lists of things to do, essentially to-do lists on the back of documents that had very clear classification markings, treating those classified documents as if they were scrap paper and writing these to-do lists to give to her. Uh, furthermore, what we have learned is uh, that Molly Michael, the day after Mar-a-Lago was searched by the FBI, after they executed that search warrant last August, she went to Mar-a-Lago and went to her desk and discovered that inside one of the drawers, underneath a divider in that drawer, the documents were still there. The FBI did not retrieve them, either didn't see them or didn't find them or didn't search in that particular spot. But for whatever reason, those documents were still there. At that moment, she arranged to turn those documents over to the Department of Justice. Oh, well, that's stunning. So she went right to the FBI, the Department of Justice, with those documents. And, John, what do we know about the current status of Molly Michael? I mean, does she still work for Trump? Well, it's interesting. Uh, as I mentioned, she worked for him for a number of years, uh, but she left that job. She quit uh, in the fall of last year, so she is no longer a Trump employee. And one very critical uh, point in all of this is when she was still working for Trump, and the FBI reached out to talk to her. She told the former president that the FBI had reached out. And according to Molly Michael, according to our sources, Molly Michael told investigators that Trump told her, you know nothing about the boxes. In fact, of course, Molly Michael was very much involved with the boxes, with the moving of the boxes, along with Walt Nauta, who is now under indictment along with the former president. Wow, a fascinating uh, revelation in this case, really John. Is. And important to note here, a spokesperson for former President Donald Trump has said that uh, this report is based on illegal leaks and lacks proper context and relevant information. Also, that President Trump did nothing wrong and has always insisted on truth and transparency and acted in a proper manner according to the law. Also, an attorney for Molly Michael declined to comment, but our thanks to Jonathan Carl and our entire investigative unit for that report this evening. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.